Good afternoon. We're here today to study a little bit about the splitting of bees and uh, the purpose of it. We're going to go through a hive and show you how it's done. This is not the only way to do it. This is just a more convenient way and a more successful way of doing it. Uh, we're going to go inside in a few minutes. Let me introduce myself. I'm Elmore Herman from Millie B, Mariana, Florida, and I'm glad that all of you could be in the class today. Okay, to start out with the basic equipment that you'll need to make a comfortable split is a nook box. Now I'm using a three, a correction, I'm using a five frame nook box today. They also put a three frame out if you like it. You got to have your frames in the box uh, to replace these over here and to fill this one up. To start with, I'll take uh, three frames out, set them aside. So I'll have room to put my frames in here when I'm making a split. A split is normally done for two reasons. One, you've got an overcrowded hive and you're trying to prevent a swarm. It doesn't always stop a swarm, but it's a good start to prevent a swarm. The other reason you're gonna make a split is you want to get more hives in your apiary as you go down the road. So these are the two reasons you'd make your splits. You'll find that it's best really to start with a five frame box. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of smoke on it, not much, because we're going to try to find the queen in there. So we put just a little smoke on the front, keeping your smoker away from the front so you don't burn the wings. Pop the hive, a little smoke under it. Set your smoker aside, you don't need it for a while. I don't like to set my smoker on the ground, I'd rather set it on a, a board or hang it up because there has been a fire started with it. Let's don't start any fires. This hive looks pretty healthy to me. We've, I've worked, went through it a couple of times and I didn't see any foul brood or anything in it. So it's a good hive to split. And it has a, a comfortable number of bees. I'd like to see a few more in it, but it has a comfortable number. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take the first frame out Check for the queen. She's very seldom on that first frame, but make sure that she's not there before you set it aside. We're gonna leave it outside of the hive. We're gonna set it aside so that it's not in our way. It gives us a little bit more working room. We'll go to frame number two. I'm hunting a frame now that has a little bit of pollen on it and a little bit of honey. Uh, this is food for my split. I'm also looking for the queen. I want to make sure the queen where, where she's at. This frame here I can't really accept for my split. It has food on it, but I don't see anything else that would be of value to me right now. So I'm gonna set it aside. Now this frame looks a lot better. It has a sufficient amount of food in it. it has a little bit of pollen. Uh, of course we need the pollen in there because we're trying to start a new hive. I'm going to take this frame with me. I don't see the queen. But this is the first frame I'll be taking. It's food. It, uh, they're going to need food. The new hive will need food, so I'm taking it. I still don't see the queen. I hope she hadn't gone out to the royal ball today. The 
there's a little activity on here. They're, bees are communicating with each other, doing their various little dances. So uh, it's a sign that they're doing some work. But I still haven't seen the queen. This is going to be the next frame I take because it has cap brood in it. That's quite a bit of cap brood in here. The new hive will need cap brood. Come on, girl, where you at? There she is. The reason it's so important that I find her, I'm going to catch her and put her in this box, leaving this frame that she's on in the parent box. This is the frame that she laid her last eggs on. We want to leave those eggs in this box. So I'm gonna catch her. The queen is hiding from her, she's right here. And to pick her up, the way I do that, I just go in there and grab her by the wings. Well, I ended up by the feet that time, and there she is. and move her over. Now I go back to my uh, box, my nook box. You notice I only pulled two frames out with her. She has the capability of building this box up. If I pull more than that I'm taking a lot of the brood away so I only take two frames out now this box here doesn't have a queen but it has the potential of making one okay before I ever started this I have made some phone calls to see where I can get a queen from if I can get a mated queen I'm ready to put her in here but I want to wait three days roughly in my operation to put her in here I don't put her in immediately you can if you like but I like to hold mine off for three days or so. This, that way the hives knows that they are queenless and they will go in and start working on it. When you put a queen in there then, they will accept her a lot quicker. If you put her in there immediately, the pheromones of this hive has not changed. And they'll smell that new pheromone and a lot of times they will kill her if you put her in immediately. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put it back together. I'm going to wait my three days and put my queen in there. If you notice, I've, I've closed my nook box up so the bees won't be getting out. I have closed the front. Uh, it's sealed up. It's ready to go. I would mark this down on a log book or something that uh, that I would keep a record on. Knowing that this is hive number two, I split it a certain day. That means that uh, three days from now, I'll know what hive to go back and put my queen in. In other words, I might have a yard out here that has six or seven hives in it, and this way I'll know which hive I need to put my, my queen back in. Okay, my nook is all sealed up. 
it's ready to move. I'm going to move this nook at least two miles away for a couple of weeks. Then I can bring it right back and set it right beside it if I like to. But you do need to move it away. If you don't, your field force that you put over here will go back into the mother hive, leaving the queen almost without any bees. Well, she needs those bees. So this one here survived. But let's move this one away. Now, if I have a crop going someplace, if I'm going to the Tupelo, for instance, I would take this and move it to the Tupelo and put my nook here and let them catch the field bees that come back in. But uh, one of them has to be moved. Normally, I move my nook out. Okay, girls, time to go to your new home. <laughs>